Hello everyone and welcome to Witches of the Moon. My name is Jen and I'm your Tuesday hostess. Now this week we're talking about crystals and herbs and what we have with us, what we work with, that kind of thing. And for me it varies. Um, it just depends on what I'm doing and what I feel like I need to be using. Sometimes I look things up most of the time, I don't. I just gravitate to what feels right. Um, you know, I may be working with um, rose quartz and I may go with roses at the same time because that's a love type of thing. But of course, roses also represent my mom and my grandmother. Um, they loved roses when they were alive. And so whenever I'm working with those energies, I think of them. So it very well could be that. When I'm on an investigation, it could be a number of different things, just like Saturday. You know, each time I go on to, go to an investigation, it's always different. Normally, though, what's very consistent is I always have a crystal quartz. Whether it be in tumble form, whether it be in raw form, I always seem to have crystal quartz. And the other thing that I always have with me is a labradorite. No matter what it is, those are the two stones that I always have with me. Anything else, it can vary. Um, this past weekend, I had not only those, but I had a garnet with me. And, you know, I had some black tourmaline with me. And I had some black kyanite with me. So it really just depends. I mean, those are the things that I was drawn to, as well as a lapis. You know, it's a small piece, but I had it in a little bitty bag. So that's what I took with me. Now, when it comes to herbs, again, it can be a number of different things. Um, this weekend, I had sage. I had Damiana with me. Why Damiana? Because that's what I use with my guide chief. So I had that. Um, as far as sage, that's what I use on a daily basis. Like literally before I do any kind of meditation or any other kind of working, I will use sage to clear my space. It's, it's just something that I do all the time. So you, I may have that. I may have mugwort with me. I may have roses in there with me. It really just depends on what I'm doing, where I'm going, and what I'm drawn to. Now, for me, it's, when I think about this, there is no right or, or wrong combination. It's entirely up to you. It's entirely up to your intent and what you want to do. You know, you can't go wrong with having a crystal quartz and putting it with any kind of herb that you want because crystal quartz can be used for any number of things. It can be used for protection. It can be used to enhance your psychic abilities. There are a number of things, anything and everything that you want to do, you can use this at Crystal Quartz for. You know, and there's gonna be herbs that you're drawn to, and those are gonna be your go-to herbs all the time that you're gonna use, and you're gonna find that they work for many different things, not just what it says on the computer or in a book you're going to find that different herbs work better for you when you're doing different things. You know, I know some people say are very hardcore and they're like, no, you can only use them for this or you can only use this for that. But, you know, I think they're missing out by, you know, just keeping be, you know, keeping their thoughts only, oh, you can only use this. You know, experiment with it. See what works for you. You know, maybe, um, you know, a garnet will work for you better than a crystal quartz. You know, it really just depends. But if you don't have a specific crystal, go to your crystal quartz. Program it for whatever it is that you want to work with or whatever your intentions of doing and go from there. You know, it's just, it's just like with candles. If you don't have a particular candle, use a white color. You know, white basically has all the colors there is. The same way with black. Use a black candle, you know. Um, it really just is your intentions and, you know, just go from there. Don't let it hold you back. Experiment with it. See what happens. So that's really all I have to say on this. And, and until the next time and in the next video, I'll talk to you later. Bye.